The Diamond Studio would like to welcome you to our community reef tank here at Community Montessori School. We are a classroom dedicated to learning through hands-on experience about the wonderful world of marine biology. We take great pride in learning about fish, fish compatibility, corals, chemistry through testing many water parameters, mathematics, graphing, problem solving, learning from our failures, and embraces our success as a community. Last year, our studio started with a vision to explore marine biology more in depth. We reached out to many companies, local livestock businesses, Facebook reef groups, community bench forums, and families to support building a reef system with a focus of exploration. We even wrote grants to support the funding of this huge project. We became blessed when several companies, individuals, grant donors, and families came together to donate the, to this extraordinary, unique learning experience. We started small with a 28 gallon reef nano cube and continued our journey by adding a 14 gallon seahorse tank, frag tank with a sump, and a 200 gallon beautiful half moon acrylic aquarium with 16 gallon refugium, sump, dozing system, auto top off, media reactors, and great equipment. We are proud that we have continued following our interest and expanding our project to promote the importance of a wonderful world of the ocean in our reef systems. During our venture, learners became engaged in taking on a project to dive deeper in the ocean. We became engaged in breeding new to branch Bergia as well as raise the horrible pest of Aptasia. This was truly a fun experience because we got the opportunity to irritate this pest to increase our population to feed our Bergia. We built specific compartments to hold our Bergia. Another cool project was to build a sump for one of our tanks. We studied in depth what a sump was and its unique role. We also started growing mangroves in one of our tanks to reduce nitrates and phosphates. As the mangroves grew, we took them out to measure and observe their growth. Some learners started to care for other freshwater tanks in the school to help other classroom teachers out, while other learners started to visit and teach younger learners in classrooms about this wonderful hobby. During our journey, we have explored many learning experiences based on hands-on learning that not only gives us understanding and reasoning into the marine biology world, but also into our daily academics. We take great pride in sharing that each learner focus on a specific marine biology area and then wrote research papers followed by the sharing sub subject with the studio. This gave us depth and un understanding fundamental hearing needs as well as emphasize how challenging it would be to accomplish caring for our tanks. We knew that understanding about corals was important and a big part of our projects, so we set out on a journey to start studying t types of corals and how they interact with one another. We had to understand this before taking on the process to care and maintain a reef saltwater aquarium with success. We took the time to explore coral shells and skeletal system of different corals. We also discussed being safe in the process, which is our number one priority. We started studying different types of corals and even learned about fragging and placement inside a tank with the understanding of lighting, flow, and water quality. Another great experience was the opportunity to learn from the experts in the community. After taking on several projects, we took on an even bigger challenge when a local livestock store stepped out of the norm and saw the need to donate a 200 gallon half moon acrylic fish aquarium to our classroom to expand our endless possibilities of diving into the ocean. As a studio, we knew this would bring excitement not only to our classroom, but our school community, so we decided to place the aquarium outside our classroom where thousands of learners, parents, teachers, staff members, and families passed each day. We again started reaching out to sponsors to add the necessary equipment for our dream tank. Then we started to research, research, and do more researching. This involves studying more in depth with what our system would look like. We set a plan and went for it. On the way, we ran into problems, so we adjusted and moved forward. The cycling process felt like forever. Even though it was only four or five months for a kid, that's like 10 years though. We then started adding livestock and pow, we had a reef tank. Now that we had this dream tank started, we needed to make a plan for daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance that involved all learners, so we agreed that each learner in our studio would have a specific responsibility. We call these job responsibilities reef maintainers. 
The reef maintaining job responsibilities range from cleaning the skimmer, who we all call the skim mate, to the water parameter testers. Let's check in to see how we are doing. Pneumonia looks good. It's like the nitrates in the ballpark. The calcium level is 480. The high range pH looks like 8.0. Phosphate check is done. Let's also check in with Gretchen on other reef job responsibilities in the studio. The fish finder will check inventory on all fish in each tank. They will ensure all fish are accounted for. The algae scrubber uses the magnetic scrubber to clean off the algae on the glass or acrylic. The water exchanger helps do water changes. They support by mixing salt and doing a 20% water change. The temperature recorder will record the temperature each day to ensure we have a consistent temperature. The core reef expert will observe and record coral changes. This includes corals that are open up and closed up. The dirty sock collectors collects and replaces old socks with clean socks. The media changer slash identifier changes out the media filters when needed. This includes the sponge. The Reef Fanatic oversees and checks off all of my marine biology job responsibilities. We are in the process of creating new marine job responsibilities as problems arise or for areas that may need additional support. This will help ensure our studio maintains our beautiful reef ecosystem. We have worked hard to incorporate as many academic subject areas as possible into caring for our tanks. This makes learning fun and real to us. We are proud of creating a classroom environment based upon an in-depth learning through research, hands-on learning, experimenting, observation, technology, grace and courtesy, and most of all, a community that works together to challenge one another to problem solve. We want to thank all of our sponsors who have contributed to our success in this difficult and challenging adventure. We could not have gotten where we are without them. So thank you, thank you, and again, thank you. We look forward to creating more partnerships with sponsors in the future. If you are interested in supporting this beautiful educational learning experience, please email msylvester at shiningminds.com to find out how you can be a part of redefining education.